Hello world, it's day six of my Corona days and today for me was not a very good one. I was fighting off boredom like crazy and what I realized from talking to people throughout the day is other people are handling their boredom a lot better than I am. Is this is the squirrel sound or my sound itself? I'm supposed to try to decide if that's the squirrel or you? Yeah. So you've been practicing squirrel sounds in your spare time? Yeah. Why? And they can come to me. And then what? They can make a pet. Pet? Yep. A wild pet and ride in the yard. Ride in the yard? Yeah. And what the, do you mean? Right here in the yard. Oh, you're going to be like, you're going to have wild pets. Yeah. Like the Tiger King. Tiger King. <laughs> you're going to have squirrels. I'm going to be Squirrel King. Squirrel King? <laughs> yeah. Squirrel talker? Yeah. So Sam, how are you coping with the boredom? Um, I'm a, cause I'm a college student. I sit in the computer like all day reading and doing work. And yesterday, I was just done with it because I was, for the past three weeks, just been on it. And I was like going for a run through. I just ran. I didn't stop. I just came back, ran like two miles. Just, I'm so bored at sitting at the computer. I had to go do something. So what time was this? It's like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> for me, I went on my morning run. I'm trying to run a lot uh, so that I can have something to do. So I'm getting up there high in miles, uh, but I was really unsuccessful. I, I didn't do well, I didn't feel good being out there, um, and it was really challenging for me. Today's run might be the longest run I've ever done, not because it's the most miles that I've ever done, but because I'm just going so slow. It's like usually I would check my pace, and now I'm like, well, oh, what does it matter? You know, I've been training for a marathon for about the last eight to 12 weeks, and it got canceled, and now I'm sort of on a, who cares type type run I guess today but the other thing that I noticed that I it really made me feel something is that you know I live in a community where everyone's super friendly and I hello used to be my running strategy where I would run along the bike path and I would say hello to everybody and they'd say hello back and it really gave me some energy it made me feel good about being out here but Today I ran and nobody wanted to say hello to me. It was like they thought maybe by virtue of, of opening their mouth or me opening my mouth that I would, you know, spray on them or something, get sweat on them. And one woman actually literally like took her little child and moved her off of the path from in front of me. And I, I felt like the living persona of the virus itself. It's like the really friendly neighborhood just became very closed and not as friendly as it used to be. They were put, um, releasing all these things about, you know, prevent this, prevent that. Um, they're scaring the hell out of people and they run into the stores and emptying the shelves and then nothing happens. Uh, personally, we live in a small community, so we're not as affected in a big city. Uh, my life hasn't changed that much, although, I mean, I don't interact with a lot of people on a regular basis. So uh, personally, it's just a nice time to slow down, look at the clear skies with no airplanes in it, um, enjoy nature. Cool yourself. And, um, and you got to focus on what's important in life, friends and family. That's perfect. That you can communicate with. That's perfect. Have you been doing anything differently since all of this? Like you said you were bored. I'm going to start adapting it now. You're adapting to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's actually but enjoyment. Like you feel like uh, you learn more about your life versus you keep running, you get something, you know? So now it's chilling, I have nothing to do. It's my days is longer, and I feel like I'm gonna live in this earth longer if the corona doesn't kill me. So, and I'm in, spending time with my family more, and it's, money is not really that much necessary. When you sit at home, you have food, you have living situation, right? Everything, I think it's, Pretty what about your work? You haven't gone to work in like I five mean, days or a week. I work out. So I mean what about your business? The business is there. So when I started my company, we started six kayak to make it this happen. If it's everything goes down the trend, I can do it again. As long as I leave. So you're not worried about 
Or losing any of that? I mean, did the worry really change your life? I don't think so. Yeah. You know, we have a several times hurricane hit our company, lost a lot of money, and we did it again. So, I mean, yeah, it's a pain for, for this point for everybody else. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you die, you're going to go naked. So, but you don't care? I don't care. As long as I have food, as long as I have happy family, happy life, healthy, that's all that matters. Playing basketball by yourself? Yeah. Why? Your brother won't play with you? Huh? Your brother won't play with you? No, well, he's playing with his friends, so. How many times have you played basketball today? I think three times. Three times already? Are you getting bored with all this? No. Not too bad? Hmm? Not too bad? No, not too bad. That's really good. So what's your secret? What's your secret to not getting bored? Change between things. Like? Play it often. Like, I'll go inside, play some video games, come outside, eat, that stuff. So your routine is video games, eat, play outside. Yeah. How many times a day do you do that? Not quite often. I either stay outside for a long time or play, play inside for a long time. Interesting, because I would have thought you would have been the one to get bored during all this. I mean, I, I do get bored. So. Did you say you're not bored? N-D-A-N-A. -A. No, no, I'm not bored. I'm uh, getting ready to do my first mask of the day. You do have a lot of mask stuff going on here. Yeah, it's a little bit, I, I had it all, all nicely organized yesterday before Chris come. So you're not bored because you're making masks? Yes, that's right. And I've got all my yard work done for the day. Do you have any idea like when this thing's gonna end? I'm, I am praying for the first of June. So I thought about why why am I not doing well at things that I normally do well at? Like running, I would have normally never given up before um, on my miles and I would have been very motivated. And I realized that I'm like going through a stage of apathy where I just kind of don't care about anything. And then I asked myself, well, what? why? Why don't you care? Um, because that's not normally like me. I'm very motivated type person. I'm an entrepreneur, so I like the hustle. I never give up on something, even when it's hard. And what I realized was that it's because it's really hard for me to have goals right now in this time where everything's uncertain and we don't really know about anything. It's really hard to have goals. School goals are kind of different because music um, kind of changed. I couldn't get to perform my solo or perform in like my, gr like my groups and things. And it's kind of, it's kind of sad because I'm freshman and so I got to be with these people and play like end of the year big concert and that kind of got canceled because that was a goal that kind of got thrown off. But this next year. Yeah. Does not having the goal make you practice less or anything like that? Oh no. I still practice. <laughs> practice more now since I have more time. What does your future look like in your imagination right now? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I want to um, get a good job. And grow up or yeah. play sports. What about like the near future, like the summer? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, we're probably going to be doing school during the summer or school. Yeah. And hopefully, the thing is, COVID 19 is over by then. Because so, you know. you'll be happy to go back to school next fall, be in seventh grade. Yeah. As somebody who is a natural introvert, I thought the whole stay at home thing for me would be really easy. Um, I go work from home a lot anyway, and and I, I like being alone. I'm okay with all of that. So I really had to analyze and ask myself, what was wrong with me right now? And I did realize that it was this whole uncertainty that's happening. I don't have a timeline 
I'm somebody who's a planner. I, I love having a plan. I love meeting my goals. So I know that for me to be able to cope as well as my family is and some of my neighbors are doing that I really need to find myself a goal. Not just a hobby, not just something like working out or that type of thing, but I need to set my own timeline that has become uh, part of this new reality because there's a lot of things happening right now that I can't control, I, are out of my control. I don't know when the stay at home order is going to be lifted. I don't know when COVID-19 is gonna go away. I personally think it's never gonna go away. I don't know when they're gonna find a cure. So from talking to everybody in the neighborhood today, what I really learned um, and what I really value about all of these great people is that they have the sensibility to go. They can sort of see an end for themselves or they know how to keep themselves going and, and stay very positive for me. I need to find a new normal that allows me to create some goals within the whole COVID-19 reality uh, that I didn't have before. With that, I think I'll be doing a lot better. I'll be less bored and that feeling of apathy and dread that I felt on my morning run today um, will hopefully go away.